So here's the deal. These Wacom Cintiq tablets are very expensive. They cost hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars sometimes, but the thing is, they're expensive. However, there is one alternative. You know what that is? It's getting one of these things, these tablets. This right here is an HP EliteBook 2760p. And these things don't cost too much. You can get them for maybe 60 bucks at best with no hard drive. And you know what they can do? They can do drawing. And guess what? It's even pressure sensitive too. These can do pressure sensitive drawing and it's supported in a lot of the popular apps. In fact, you can even erase it by turning it around. It's, it's supported in Paint Tool Site, supported in Photoshop. It's supported in a lot of apps. And you can get this for just $60. But that's not the best part. For the price of one of those generic tablets where you have to look at the monitor and the other at once, you can actually draw on it. And that's right, you can draw on it and it's pressure sensitive. And you can get these pens for it for not too much and they don't need a battery either unlike the newer Surface ones. So you can draw all you want on here on one of these tablets. And this is great because if you're a broke artist and you want something like a Wacom Cintiq, these are great alternatives, but the 2760p along with certain other laptops in the same time period such as the X220 ThinkPad tablets and X230 ThinkPad tablets, they're actually usable computers too. If you put an SSD in it or like a better hard drive instead of like the stock 5400 RPM hard drive, you can actually use these as decent day-to-day -day machines and get this. Battery life on these is great too. It's telling me that I got a three hours left, but that's because it's not calibrated. Because the thing is, you can actually use two batteries on these. That's right. There's a little second battery here, and it clips onto the bottom of the laptop. So this thing's got two batteries, which means that it lasts even longer. So you can draw even longer too. And furthermore, since these are business laptops, you get a lot of other decent features. For example, you get a little keyboard light on this one. The X220 tablets also have a keyboard light. You get a half-decent keyboard on this, but on the X220 tablets, you actually get an amazing keyboard that you just can't beat still. And it's good enough to run web browsing and whatnot, and it even runs Linux just fine, that's right. This thing can run fine under Linux too, not just Windows. So it's great. It's a great little tablet. But if you want something beefier for more money, and you want something that's just as good of a value as a Cintiq, here's something that you can get. The HP Envy X360. This has an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU in it. This has an AMD Ryzen 5 2500U with Raven Ridge. So it's got Vega graphics too. And here's the best part. So this right here is a Surface Pen. Get this. It's pressure sensitive too. But get this. This is not only pressure sensitive but it's got a higher rest screen there are two major issues with it the first one being since it's one of those newer two-in-ones when you fold it into the two-in-one position where it's in a tablet mode this keyboard is exposed so I wouldn't recommend putting this on a dirtier table in tablet mode just just keep it on your lap 
And the other thing is this uses a different API for the pen. This uses the newer Windows uh, Ink API. So it'll work with Krita. It'll work with Coral Painter. It'll probably work with ArtRage. But it won't work with, say, for example, let's just say you wanted to use uh, Paint Tool Sci. Well, you can't use the old version of Sci. You gotta use the new 2 version of Sci, which is still in development and costs money, of course. But, but the thing is, it will work with it, too. So it won't work with as many apps, but it'll work with newer ones. And this thing's CPU is pretty beefy, so it can handle a lot of stuff. And this is what I recommend getting if you have more than $60. But otherwise, the thing is, the other tablet I showed wasn't bad either. It's a good tablet, and these are good alternatives for somebody who wants to, like, get into drawing and they want to draw on the screen but they don't want like say a Wacom Cintiq that costs a lot of money. This is a good alternative, especially the $60 one I showed. It's great. That's all that needs to be said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.